Good morning. I have the pleasure of introducing a little bit of a new series for us. It's basically built around why advisors are both hired and fired. And to get it started, I've got Peter Mothy with me. And uh, Peter? We understand that there are lots of reasons why advisors get hired and fired. Probably the one at the top of the list always is performance. And the performance in the positive sense is really easy to understand because the performance on the upside is how we help investors and advisors meet their financial objectives. That's pretty easy to understand. But let's keep in mind that what might be really good performance for one person might not be good performance or might be excessive performance for somebody else and vice versa. Because look, a conservative investor would only be looking to make, let's say, five or eight percent a year. But that's going to be wholly unacceptable for an investor who's an aggressive investor and looking at making 15 to 25 percent a year. So let's keep things in perspective. Now, the performance on the downside, the part that gets us fired without exception in almost all cases, has to do with risk management. Now, where risk management comes in is the, the focus of what Trademark does, because in order to live up to investor and advisor expectations in perspective to the assigned risk profile of whether it's the advisor's business profile, or whether it's the actual end investor's investment profile, we have to control the performance on the downside through risk management. That makes us active investment managers in trying to make sure that we live up to the performance expectations, both on the upside, so we get hired, and on the downside, so we don't get fired. Along those lines, I think that there's a lot of subheadings that we could bring up and, and, and go into a lot more detail. But at this time, we're going to stop it right here. We'll carry on from there. Thank you so much for joining us today for this episode of Why Advisors Are Hired and Fired. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at mallory at trademarkcapital.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and also check us out on LinkedIn and Twitter, where we are regularly posting updates about what's going on here at Trademark Capital.